Good morning, everybody. And you can see behind me how clearly that shows out the window, but it is snowing here in southern New Brunswick, East Coast, Canada. I don't think it's going to amount to much. We've already got an inch or two on the ground. We had bare ground before that, and it's due to rise to four or five degrees this afternoon and change to rain, so I expect by tomorrow we'll have bare ground again. I just had two or three little things that I wanted to talk about in this short clip. The first, I wanted to send a, a shout-out to Jerry at Backyard Homesteaders, and I will put his uh, link up here for you to go have a look at his website. But he did an item a few weeks back on how he organizes his seeds, and I have done the same thing. So I can't take credit for this at all, but... Uh, I'm very pleased with it, and thank you very much, Jerry, for the idea. It's just a large three-ring binder, and these sleeves or pages are uh, for saving um, trading cards, like hockey cards, baseball cards, that sort of thing, all these little pockets, and the little envelopes, which I have some blank one or two sitting here. They're called coin envelopes. I had those anyway because I have a small seed exchange, if you've seen one of my other videos, and that's what I package my seeds in. Well, I went through all of my packets of seeds that are, I don't know anybody else, I'm not very organized in that regard. They were everywhere, and I brought them all together, and anything that is opened, I have uh, repackaged into those little things, labeled them, put them in here in alphabetical order. Um, alphabetically, and that one page has got all the A's on it type thing. I didn't go down to getting them exactly in alphabetical order, but I find the page with the A's, I'll be able to find the arugula and the artichokes, that sort of thing. Anyway, I think it's an excellent idea. Uh, not very expensive. I paid nine dollars, I think, for the uh, the binder. I already had the envelopes, but a box of 500 of the envelopes is six or seven dollars. And the pages I'm not really sure. I got 50 pages and it wasn't very much money. I should have the receipt in front of me, I guess, so I could tell you. But anyway, I think it's an excellent idea. And if you were like me and didn't have anything organized, this brings it all together in one place. So before I go to a seed catalog and, and order seed, I can uh, check this to make sure that I really need to. I may already have it. That's that item out of the way. And somebody, I'm not sure, and I didn't check back through to see who it was, but somebody that I follow, and you'll probably know who you are, I guess, recommended tongue depressors. You can get them from medical supply companies or, I guess, some larger pharmacies handle them. They're what the doctor used, what the doctor used when he says, you know, say ah, to use them as plant tags. If they were cheaper than what you can buy uh, as, as actual plant tags. And so I went and bought a box of 100 I paid a little over three dollars for a hundred, which is a good, and they're larger also. I think that's great because I tend to print quite largely and I use one of these markers, permanent markers, but it uh, always seems to print thicker than I want it to print. So I think they're a good idea. However, the reason I'm showing you these is not their, their use as, uh, as plant tags. I want to read to you the warning that is on every one of these labels that you never see. Your doctor rips this open and uh, sticks it in your mouth, only if he's using this particular brand name. I have no idea if they're all like this or not, but this has a warning on it. I'll just read it to you. It says, warning, this product has been sterilized using ethylene oxide, a chemical known to the state of California to cause birth defects or other reproductive harm, as well as cancer. The doctor opens that and puts it in your mouth. I don't know. Anyway, I well, next time my doctor says, ah, I'm going to say I want to see the label first. Maybe you should do the same. So that's my little heads up on that one. And finally, I'm growing a globe artichoke, a variety called uh, Tabor, T-A-V-O-R. Just, uh, you can see that or not. Oops, where are we? Here we are. Just, these are just through the soil. I've planted four of them, and so far two of them are up. I only want one, so I'm already assured that I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to uh, plant them in my hoopos, plant one in a large container in my hoopos. This particular variety is for uh, northern climates or short seasons, whatever. They claim that you will get artichokes off of it, 
uh, in the first year, so you don't have to worry about it overwintering. Well, I don't know. Anyway, I had to give it a try. I'm going to plant it in a large container in the hoop house and uh, possibly even bring that in next winter. But what I'm getting at here is the seed. They weren't terribly expensive, but I have quite a number of seeds left over. The seeds are fairly large. What I've done is I photocopied the front and the back of the uh, seed packet. As you can see, it came from my favorite seed company, Vessies, here in the Maritimes. And I have put two seeds in these little envelopes, attached them to these sheets, and I have nine envelopes. And I will give these seeds away, mail them to anybody. Uh, no contest or anything involved here. All you have to do is send me a personal message with a mailing address. And the first nine that I receive will get one of these in the mail. And that doesn't make any difference where you live, anywhere on the globe, if you're watching this and you would like to try to grow an artichoke, uh, just send me your, your mailing address. And if you're in the first nine, I will uh, put them in the mail to you. Uh, once I've reached the magic number of nine, I will add up here somewhere a, a uh, annotation that says that, the, that it's not a contest, that the giveaway is over. I've already um, given them all away. Anyway, that's about all I had to say. By the way, that, that lady over my shoulder with the head stuck through the wall, that's actually made of pottery. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.